Uh, I just like it uh, when, when cards are used in, in, in less obvious ways, uh, as, and that's a, a perfect example. Uh, here's another way to use cards in a, um, a way uh, beyond just pick a card, I find a kind of thing. It's used as a point of reference for mind reading. Um, I'm going to go through the cards, and I'm going to show you some cards. Just think of one of the cards, and when you think of it, Try to see it as a picture in your mind. And, and you'll understand what I mean by the picture thing as opposed to just uh, the words uh, in a moment. But just go ahead and just think of any one of these cards. Okay. You got one? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and shuffle those up for me so that uh, nobody knows the order uh, of those cards. You know, when I first started exploring mind reading, I thought it would be like reading a book, you know, that, that the information would just be there and you could read it. Uh, but now that I've uh, played with it a little bit, I realize that it's not that simple. As a matter of fact, there's a big difference between thinking in terms of pictures and thinking in terms of words. Now, if you were to think in terms of the words that describe that card, that would come through in a certain way. I would be able to pick that up in a certain way. But if at the same time you were to think in terms of a picture, if you actually see the picture in your mind, that comes through in a certain way. So here's what I want you to do. I want to go through, I want to show you the cards. I want you to look at the faces, and when you see the one that is your thought of card, I want you to burn that picture in your mind. But at the same moment, I want you to think two words. Think, that's it. See, the words will come through in a certain way, the pictures will come through in a certain way. But now don't say it out loud and don't uh, like go, <gasps> you know I mean, that's a, that's a dead giveaway. Uh, just kind of think. Uh, see the picture, and then think the words. Uh, have you seen your card yet? Okay, doesn't matter. They're just going to be in here somewhere. It's one way to think, right? Mm -hmm. I, well, I saw it. Oh, so you, you, you know that it's in the, and did you at the same time think, that's, that's it. it. Okay, that's all we need to know, is that uh, the thought and the picture and the words are burned in your mind. Uh, hold out your right hand for me, just like this, and I'm going to see if I can't pick up on some of those thoughts. Uh, and I, obviously, I don't know the, uh, the names of any of these cards, and it's not that kind of thing. We're just going for a thought sort of thing taking place. Mm. It's, 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 a, it's a difficult thing, really. No? No? I have it. What card are you just thinking of? You want me to tell you? Yes. It was the Ace of Spades. I knew that you were thinking of the Ace of Spades. I wasn't sure of the identity, but I knew from the impression that I got from the cards, I'm happy that I took one more. You were just thinking of it? Wow. That's the one that I got. Oh. The Ace of Spades. Oh. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you know, some of these things that uh, we do, you may have noticed at this point, some uh, of these effects, we wrap fun little stories around to have a good time as we tell it, kind of adds to the magic. And some of the effects are so clear and distinct for what they are that they stand pretty much all on their own. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't one of those effects. So <laughs> pretend that this is the Starship Enterprise. And uh, your job is to select Captain Kirk from amongst this, uh, this uh, flurry of, of cards kings, here. Right? None of the kings, because these kings are going to represent not only a teleporter machine, but an even an alien hostile world. <laughs> All of that from a deck of cards. <laughs> who, can, who can ask for more? <laughs> so uh, any one of these cards. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll offer a suggestion. <laughs> oh, okay, too overt. Okay, that's, I'm out of my place. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and pull it out. Um, it's going to represent Captain Kirk. Yes, that yes. That's hard to say. Um, <laughs> let's go with um, the Ten of Diamonds here. The Ten of Diamonds. A good selection. Now, here's basically what, uh, what happens. Uh, and what is going to happen is these cards are going to represent different uh, devices inside of the Star Trek world. Uh, the, in fact, it's going to be uh, the teleporter machine. And this is, of course, Captain Kirk. And we're going to send Captain Kirk to an alien world. So we'll place him down here in between the two kings. And these two we're going to leave over here, just like this. Now here's what happens. Captain Kirk goes into this alien world. 
and he says the magic words, beam me up, Scotty. And it in fact happens instantly just like that with him reappearing inside. Go ahead, pull him out yourself. See if that is in fact Captain wow. Kirk. Is that Captain Kirk? That's Mission so nice. accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>